Yo, what's up everyone? Buzzy Bath here. Today, let's learn how to change the clock time in our game anytime we press a bunch of buttons. So what I'm going to do is inside of my workspace, how I am going to set it up is I'm going to go ahead and spawn in three parts. So three parts. So the first part is going to represent the daytime. The second part is going to be afternoon. And the last and third part is going to be nighttime. So I'm going to go ahead and just make it a little fancy. I'm going to go ahead and add a surface GUI in all of my parts with a text label, just saying, uh, indicating what time of the day the players will get when they interact with this part. Okay, so once we are finished with that, what we want to do is add a proximity prompt in all of our parts because we want it so that when a player presses a button, when they're interacting with this part, then the clock time is going to change. So what I'm doing here is editing the properties for of my proximity prompt uh, down below. And you guys can see on the bottom right, I'm just changing the action text, the hold duration, the object text to uh, hold for daytime, the hold duration for 0.3, and the object text to uh, time changer. Now, these are just all cosmetic uh, things. So this is just going to let us know, you know, what this proximity prompt is. It doesn't affect our script in any way. So go ahead and edit your proximity prompt to however you would like. Cool. And then once we're done with that, let's go ahead and rename our blue part to day because it's the daytime, our yellow part to mid for afternoon, if you guys call it like that as well. And then our red part to night. And then we're going to go ahead and group all of our three parts together so that it is a model. And finally, let's go ahead and add a script inside of our model. We have a few variables, one which references the entire model itself. And then we have the variables for our proximity prompts that are in three of our parts in our workspace. So the proximity prompt in the day part, mid part, as well as the night part. And then we're going to go ahead and create a variable which references the lighting in game.lighting. So we're going to go ahead and create three functions. So three functions to change the day, to change the clock day, to change the clock time to day, mid and night time. So for our first function in the daytime, we're going to do lighting.clocktime is equal to 12. Now I got 12 here is if you look in our lighting properties and you scroll down to where it says data and then clock time, you'll be able to actually adjust this clock time to however you want. So at around 12, it looks a little something like that. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the mid time and night time functions. Okay. So let's go ahead and find a good clock time for my mid time part. And I think seven looks pretty good. Yeah. Actually, it might be a little too dark right now. I think that looks perfect. Sweet. So we're going to do 6.34 mid time. So we're going to do lighting dot clock time is equal to 6.3. Then let's go ahead and do it one more time for nighttime. Usually zero is the perfect nighttime. Okay. So then let's just go ahead and call our three functions, uh, making sure that we are actually able to use these proximity prompts. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out our script. Head over to my daytime. It's already daytime, so midtime, perfect. And then change it to daytime, midtime, and then nighttime. So cool. As always, full scripts and models will be posted on our website. Link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. Have fun creating, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.